Great morning, great morning, great morning, great morning, ladies and gentlemen here. Hey, this is Wesley, billion dollar virgin here with another Sunday mindset message here. And listen, this morning we're going to talk about how to visualize your dreams, those thoughts in your mind into reality here. Um, for the past maybe 10 years, I've been meditating um, and meditation itself has been very instrumental in creating wealth, attracting things and people and experiences in my life. But I've realized over the years of just teaching people on different platforms here um, that visualization is very difficult and new to people because they don't know how to do it here. Okay, How many of you have issues visualizing your success and all that means is closing your eyes and being able to see the things that you want say if you have a vision board you have all these pictures on your vision board right or maybe you have a list of goals but when you try to think about those goals and picture them it's difficult right sometimes you see black sometimes you have periods that negative thoughts begin to bombard your mind and it's very difficult to do that. Well, guess what? You're on the right podcast here today. You're on the right freaking Sunday mindset message here. Because Wesley Virgin, me, myself here, I am going to share with you the secrets of visualization, what I've been using, how it's going to increase your power to picture things faster, to get what you want. And you don't have to pay a dime. It's so easy and it's free. And I'm happy to do it. But before I get started... I want everybody to come at these words below. High energy, high income means I need you to raise your vibration right now. Listen, if you have low vibration, vibration means how you feel. If it's low, then you're probably going to have a low, lonely life. So come at these words below. High energy, high income, which means if you want high income, which I know that's what you want. Young man, young lady here. Well, your energy, you have to ride, raise it, right? Raise your voice a little bit, right? Put a smile on your face. Listen closely to me as we talk about the visualization process here, right? But don't listen to me passively. If you need to stand up and walk around, high energy, high income. Because that's how it works. People that make a ton of money, their energy is high, Right? And the people that want to make the money, the energy is high as well until they eventually make it as well, okay? So remember, high energy, high income. Comment below. High energy, high income. Comment again below. High energy, high income. Let's go. So let's break this down for a second here. I know you, you're excited right now, right? You feel good. How I many? You feel good right now? Good, good, goody, good. So check it out. And I'm going to make this stupid simple here because, listen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin here. And I started off just like most of you broke, right? Because uh, I was born and raised in South Side, South Side of Houston, Texas here. And, it, you know, it was just a place of poverty, to be honest with you, right? <laughs> it, we didn't have any mansions, no fancy cars and things of that sort. So, I didn't grow up in the environment of success or any type of opulence, okay? I mean, I grew up just just like the average person does, just unaware of what was possible. But as I began to get older, I started to realize other possibilities outside of my awareness. Does that make sense? Does everybody remember the moment when they discovered that they could do more than what they were currently doing. You know, it's like working a job for 10, 5, 15 years and then learning that you could be successful. Then learning that you don't have to work a job. Learning that you actually can achieve your dreams. Does everybody remember that moment in your life? Well, I had that moment in my early 20s here. And from there, I was on a very, very meticulous journey to become successful and wealthy. And I did what most people did. I went to the seminars. I read the books. I joined the organizations. I jumped into opportunities. I sold knives. I was in network marketing, internet marketing. I did it all. But 
what was important and what was the kicker for me that really allowed major breakthroughs financially it was my ability to visualize my success. And I want to teach you here, and I want you to really just have an open mind with me this morning. I'm not going to take too long here, but I want to give you a gift that you're going to take with you for the rest of your life. And listen, the visual the visualization process is not just for the acquisition of money and things. I mean, you can find the love of your life using this process. If you want to do better in school, you can use this technique for school in your classrooms. You can use this. If you need to do a big speech, you can use this process. If you want a certain type of experience in your life, you can use this process. If you want to be happier, you can use this process here. If you want to build skill, if you want to be the best in your niche, in your general, whatever you're doing, this process can be used and can be utilized in a way for you to get what you want here. All right, so I started reading more books, obviously. I'm a voracious reader, and I love to read. Smash the like button if you love to read. If you don't, you need to love it now. <laughs> um, so I realized that I was already visualizing. Some of you, what you don't understand about this process, that you're already visualizing on a daily basis. See, vi visualization is nothing but images in your mind that you think about that have images attached to the thoughts. Like right now, if I say, hey, I need you to think about your car. If I say, think about your car, you're thinking about your car right now, right? You know the color, you know the make and the model. If I say, you know what, think about your children. Boop, picture of your children pop up in your mind right now. You know their names, you know how they look, right? If I say, hey, I want you to picture your job, done. You can just picture your job, it's an image in your mind. Picture your boss, picture your manager, done. Picture your husband, done. Picture your parents, done. And I want you to understand that, like, you have a picture. You can see that person right now. If you close your eyes, you can see a picture of your family, right? You can see a picture of your apartment, your home, whatever. So what I want you to understand is when you say, well, I have problems visualizing. No, you don't. Everybody, every man and woman on this planet visualize, okay? We all visualize every, on a daily basis. We all picture what we got to do. When you, If you think about the route from your home to your job, you can see that route. You know the terms. You know the highway you need to take. You know the freeway. Even though you're in your bed right now, maybe in your car right now, maybe at work, but you already know what it looks like. You know what your room looks like. You know what your children's room look like. You don't have to be in there and you can see it. You know what your kitchen looks like right now. You're not in the kitchen unless you have yourself some breakfast. But does that make sense? I want you to understand is that you already know how to do what you think you don't know how to do. Does that make sense? Comment below, please. You already know how to do what you think you don't know how to do. So now from this moment going forward, I don't want you to say, I don't know how to visualize it's hard for me to visualize. You're already doing it, big head. You're already visualizing. But this is the kicker. You want to learn how to visualize in a way that you get what you want. Many of you, the type of visualizations you're doing, you're getting what you don't want. Does that make sense? Right? Many of you are manifesting and visualizing problems, not on purpose. You know, you wake up on a Sunday, on a Monday morning and say, man, tsh, man, I hope I have a good day today because you're picturing a bad day. And the reason why you're picturing a very interesting day is because maybe you had a bad week last week or maybe you don't even like your job. So you're just thinking about it's going to be the same that took place last week, going to take place this week. You're going to be bombarded with work. You're not going to be appreciated. You're not going to make enough money to pay your bills. Right. So. What's happening to most of us, we are creating this visual image in our mind and we have momentum, this picture that we're reinforcing, but we're reinforcing pictures that we don't want to picture, such as struggle, such as financial problems, 
such as relationship problems, such as health problems. Does that make sense? You have a picture that is so clear in your mind about your life. If I ask you guys right now, hey, tell me about your life. Tell me what's going on in your life. Are you are you happy? Most of you may say, oh, yeah, I'm a, I guess I'm happy. Anybody that responds that way, that means they're not happy. That means that immediately if I ask you, are you happy? Is life going the way that you think it should go? You'll say, oh, well, no, not everything. I mean, I, I wish I could make more money. Well, I wish I could find a husband. I wish I could find a wife. I, I wish I could just get rid of this debt. And that tells me exactly what you're visualizing and what you're thinking about. And you have pictures of this. Many of you have pictures of the debt. You have pictures of the low bank account, the negative balance here. Does that make sense? So what I want you to understand is, which I've just proved to you, that you are already doing what you think you don't know how to do. Can I get an amen below, please? It's not church, but I want you to say amen if you don't mind. Go ahead. Does that make sense? You're already doing what you think you don't know how to do. You're visualizing, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to teach you how to do it. So you'll start to get some of the things that you want. Listen, hey, when I start to learn how to do this process and visualize everything that I that I want, let me tell you, it's a magical experience and it feels so good when you begin to do it and you become an expert at it. Like, honestly, to be very transparent with you, like every vehicle that I have, not saying that vehicles are important, but I like cars. I visualize every car. That, that is in my garage right now. And I only have luxurious cars. I have $2 million worth of cars, right? Like I actually visualize that. Every vacation that I've taken around the world, like every island or every city and country, I visualized that. I really did. And I'm, I'm going to share the process in a second. I visualized that process. I really did. Um, even my children, I visualized my children doing well in school being very respectful to other people, being very mannerable, learning how to communicate effective, having high self-esteem and high confidence. Like I visualized that 10 years ago, I would just see my children conducting themselves outside of the norm, okay? I visualized purchasing my parents a car, like my I bought my mom an Audi, I bought my dad two cars. Now he has a Mercedes 580 or 560 S class, new. Um, I visualized that. I visualized myself purchasing the mother of my children uh, um, uh, two cars, right? Because she, she, the other one, she broke it. I don't know what she did to it. <laughs> and, and I visualized her, her having a house too. Now, what I want you to understand, because you might say, well, Wes, you was already rich. No. Before. I was rich and successful. This is very important for you really to understand. Before I made money, I was already visualizing this because obviously I wanted money, but I wanted to do something with the money. So I was just visualizing exactly what I would do for other people, what I would do for myself. I visualize me and my children traveling first class laughing, playing games around the world. You know what's so funny? So last year, last year, me and my children, we went to Kenya, Nairobi, and we was on Emirates first class. And I remember like 10 years ago visualizing that one day we'll just play games together on the plane. We were, so they have a system on Emirates where you can play games together. So it was, uh, they had this game called bowling and we were bowling together 30,000 uh, 30,000 feet in the air, and we're bowling. All, all, all my kiddos, you know, of course I won. I think DA's won a couple times, David, too. But we were playing games in first class on the way to Kenya. I visualized this, by the way. I said that we're going to do it. We're going to have so much fun on the plane while we're going to different countries around the world. Okay? Now, let me share with you my technique. Is everybody here with me? Listen, raise your vibration. High energy! High income, comment below, because I can feel that your energy is like dying down a little bit. Listen, high energy, high income. You got to raise your vibration, raise how you feel, because how you feel is like a magnet to the world, to the things that you want, okay? 
Can it have low vibration? If you have low energy, you're going to meet people with low attitudes, bad behavior, bad language, bad everything, right? Got to raise the vibration, the positivity, the love, the joy, the gratefulness, high energy, high income. Comment below, everybody. If you're listening to my voice right now, even if you're listening to the replay, I want you to say it and I want you to comment below. High energy, high income. Because that's what he's talking about. We, we, we want some high income. Can I get some high income? Let's go! Woo, I'm excited. All right, check it out. So let me walk you through the process here because you're going to love it, okay? So the first process of visual to visualize purposely with intention is first to know what you want. Write that down, please, in your notepad. And if you're not writing it down, I'm going to slap you, okay? Pull out something to write with. Pull out a sheet of paper here. Write this stuff down because it's going to change your entire life, okay? You're going to start working so hard. You don't have to work hard. You got to work, but not hard. Got to be smarter in this process of understanding how to use more of your mind to attract the things that you want, serendipities and miracles and everything that you want effortlessly, okay? I'm going to teach you how to be in flow. That's how life is. Life is not hard. Life is fun. It's a blessing. It's great. It's loving. It's perfect, okay? So I want to put you in that vortex here this morning. All right. So write this down. You must know what you want. OK. Now, even though that may sound very simplistic, you may say, Wesley, I know what I want. Wesley, come on. I know what I want. I want to be rich. I want to be in love. I want to be skinny. I want to be fit. I want to be athletic. I want to be admired, Wes. I want to be famous, Wes. I want people to like me, Wes. I get it. But I want you to write these words down because even when you think you know what you want, you don't. Because, see, in the beginning, when I began to write down what I want, when I wrote down my goals, and I wrote the same thing you wrote. <laughs> well, you know, I want to travel the world. I want to have money in the bank account. I want to leave my job. I want to be able to take my children to school. I want to be able to take my children around the world. I want to be able to bless my parents. I want to do all these things. The problem was... The issue was it wasn't clear. <laughs> Write this down below. Clarity is power. Okay. Clarity is power. Please write that down below. You know, we're going to keep talking about this until you really get it. <laughs> Clarity is power, which means is. I need you to go a little step deeper. I need you to go a little bit deeper when you're thinking about what you want for your life. Okay. I want you to begin to unravel this lifestyle. You might say, well, I just want freedom, but I want you to define what does freedom mean to you? Let's unravel this freedom. How do you know or how would you know when you are free? The people that say, well, I just want financial independence. But what does that mean? I mean, I don't think your mind is able to interpret financial independence. doesn't know what that means, right? What you have to understand is when you get a clarity about what you want, your mind, your brain, right, needs to understand what does that mean to you. It doesn't know what financial independence is because it never had it. So... It's not able to quantify. It's not able to put a picture on it. Does that make sense? When you have thoughts, if I say, hey, don't think about a pink elephant, boom. You're thinking about a pink elephant. If I say, hey, think about financial independence, where does your mind go? To a Lamborghini? Like, is that financial independence? Flying around the world? See, the thing is, that's just how the mind works. The mind, you have to be very clear and very detailed about the things that you want to bring into your life. See, this is why people bring more pain and struggle and issues and problems like on autopilot because they're so used to it. They're experts at it, right? When something goes wrong, they talk about it, they envision it. They say, well, I can't leave my job, man. What if I lose all this? I lose my job. I lose my money. I lose my house. I lose my... And they picture everything. They just picture it in their mind. 
They picture themselves losing. That's insane to me, right? And the reason why <clears throat> the pictures of failure are so dominant in our mind, because we see it everywhere. Do we not? On TV, turn it on. Turn the news right now. You know what you're going to see? Somebody got killed. Somebody got raped. Somebody got abused. <clears throat> Somebody got scammed. Somebody robbed a bank, right? Somebody's sleeping under the bridge. Somebody just lost their home. I mean, this is on TV and on social media. So the reason why you can picture all these horrific images, because they're everywhere. They're pervasive around the world. Social media, <laughs> media on TV here. Even your friend, Pookie, Ray Ray. Even Pookie and Ray Ray talking about, man, I just lost my job. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. Man, I really need 200 bucks to pay this, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be on the street, right? So we have friends that talk the same talk, right? All this talk of negativity. Somebody just died. Somebody just this. Somebody just got hurt. Did you hear what happened to, to Billy Bob? Oh, my God. They lost all they this. They just, you know, so we're hearing this and we're seeing this. Does that make sense? We're hearing this and we're seeing devastating images that our minds are assimilating. So that's why you don't have to practice that having a bad day. It's automatic for you. You don't have to practice having a painful or a struggling thought. It just happens. Because not only are you thinking about it, you're surrounded by it. But we're going to visualize what we want. Now, this is the tough part. And then you got to follow me on this. We can we both can agree that just it's just more negativity that surrounds us than positive moments. Right. It just is because people are predominantly negative or they talk about negative shit. Right. They talk about negative things all the time. TV definitely talks about negative stuff. Social media. When you're scrolling, you're always going to see somebody in McDonald's cursing somebody out. Somebody running through an Apple store, stealing things. Somebody stealing Catholic converters. Somebody's wife, Chris Paul, sleeping with Kim Kardashian. And you know what's sickening? That a lot of you, you love that. You get turned on by that. If you see somebody getting married on TikTok, but if you see Chris Paul and Kim Kardashian allegedly having an affair, you're going you're gonna to listen to that. And what you don't realize, that when you listen to that stuff, you are assimilating that stuff a part of your consciousness. Okay? Does that make sense? Are you with me here? So step number one, you have to know what you want. You got to spend like a month, month or two months on this stuff, man. I spent six months of just determining what I wanted. What I did every day, I would write down day one and I wrote what I wanted. And day two, I wrote what I wanted. Now, listen, when you write what you want, you don't write in the future tense. And this is important. Many of you don't know this. You don't write, I want this. You don't write in the future tense. Why? Because your brain only understands the present moment. That's it. It doesn't really understand the past or the future. You understand what's happening in the now. So whatever memory that you conjure up, it's experiencing that in the actual moment. That's why if you, like when, I give an example, man, if you see a beautiful girl and she's sexy, I mean super fine, you can imagine sleeping with her. You'll be like, man, I'll do this too. Same thing with women. Women can see a, a very attractive man and say, ooh, I want to, ooh, man, I bet he can do this, he can do that. So you're experiencing that in the now, not the future. I mean, that's what you want, but you're experiencing that. You're, you're visualizing what you're going to do to this man. You're visualizing what you're going to do to this woman. That is happening in the present moment. Does that make sense? Your mind thinks that you're having these experiences in the moment. That's why your body chemically feels a certain way. You may start to get turned on, women. You start to get a little wet. Man, you start to get rocked hard. Does that mean? I mean, this is serious. Your body will start to respond based off the images that you're bringing and introducing to the mind. Okay? Are you with me here? High energy, high income. Raise your vibration. High energy, high income. Step number two. So once you're clear about what you want, okay, now we must begin to bring what we desire to life, okay? Now, many of you do understand that I use the mechanisms of meditation. Meditation is just what I use to manifest my dreams and my realities, okay? So listen, 
<clears throat> when you want to start to bring that stuff to life and you begin to meditate, and to meditate is just to sit down in a seat chair upright, and you're going to take a deep breath through your nose, exhale. You're going to do that five times. The reason why is because you want to put your brain into alpha state. I talk about this in my course. You can always get my course called The Genie Script. We have different states of mind, beta, alpha, delta, and theta here. I talk more about that in the course where I teach people how to manifest their dreams faster. Okay? But you want to put your brain into alpha state because alpha is the creative state of the mind. You know, you're in flow. <laughs> It's when you're not thinking about anything. You're just only thinking about the thoughts that you're introducing to the mind. So you take a deep breath and you inhale and exhale five times so your mind can enter alpha. Okay. Then after that, you want to start to think about and conjure up the experiences that you have written down on a sheet of paper. I give an example. So <clears throat> when I used to visualize when I was broke laying on the air mattress um I used to visualize and I was sitting on my couch actually from Ikea and I used to visualize the perfect day right so what's important I want you to write this down as well to enhance the process you can't just think about okay my shelf is making me food I'm getting sales in my business every day I'm working out at the gym I'm traveling the world. Well, that's not going to work, okay? Some of you are just running these scripts and you're just thinking about what you would like to do, but you're not feeling it. You Write this down. You must feel while you're visualizing. You have to feel as if it's happening. Now, listen, this does take practice. So the first time you do it, you may not feel anything, but it takes practice, Comment these words below. Repetition is the mother of skill. I live by that slogan. Repetition is the mother of skill. But let me share with you how to put more power to the visualization process. You use your five senses. Write that down. Okay. What are the five senses? Smell, olfactory, taste, agustatory, sight, visual, touch, and what you hear, okay? So when you're in meditation, your eyes are closed, you took a deep breath five times, I want you to think about, I'll just give you an example of what I did. Like I saw myself getting out of my bed. I didn't hear any alarm clock, but I can smell the breakfast being prepared in the kitchen. Ooh, that smells good. Mm, I want some bacon and some eggs right now. Cheese, the pancakes as well. And when I walk out to the kitchen, I look around and I see windows everywhere because I have a panoramic view, right? I see the entire city of Houston, Texas, and I'm like, wow, what a beautiful morning. I see the sun rising. And then I see myself, my beautiful self, Preparing my meal. And she says, good morning. And I respond with a good morning as well. Good morning. And I sit down at the table and I see the breakfast in front of me. And we have scrabble eggs. We have beef sausage. We have raisin toast bread, grits, and a nice fresh juice that my chef just blended. And I take a drink. Mm, and it tastes good. Sweet. It tastes very refreshing and healthy for my body. And then when I finish breakfast, I go take a shower and I'm getting ready for the gym. And I realize that when I look at my phone, I'm already up $25,000. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I already have $25,000 from all the different companies and digital companies that I own. And sales are coming in every 30 seconds. And I see it. Right? 
on my phone. I hear the 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 ding, the bing, 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 bing. You know those sales notifications. So with an online business, you can have it set up on your phone that every sale that you make, you can see it and you can hear the time. And I'm just like, wow, we're doing very well. Maybe we'll do a hundred thousand today. Actually, we will do a hundred thousand dollars today. Tell myself that. Then I see myself just go downstairs. Because now I'm ready to drive to the gym and the valet guy says, hey, Mr. Virgin, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm greeted every morning. Now, listen, I'm still in my visualization process. I'm greeted every morning by the staff of the high rise that I live in and say, Mr. Virgin, which vehicle would you like to drive today? And I think to myself, do I want the Lamborghini Euros? Do I want the Lamborghini Huracan? Maybe the McLaren. Maybe the Rolls Royce calling. No. Maybe the BMW. Mm, maybe the G-Wagon 4x4. Maybe the Jeep. You know what? Let me take the Mercedes GTS. The green one. Because it's money. Right? He said, absolutely, Mr. Virgin. He goes up. I sit down. I turn on my phone and I start listening to some Les Brown or some Wesley Virgin, some some motivation. You know, while I'm waiting for my car, I just want to listen to some self development, just to prime my mind and body for an outstanding workout here. And I can hear the car rumbling down the garage because I absolutely have an exhaust, and I can hear the exhaust coming down, and I see that green monster. Park right there in front of the complex. And he opens the door for me and he hands me the key. And I hand him $20 and I say, hey, thank you for all that you do. I appreciate you. I get in the car, shut the door. I plug in my phone and I'm listening to Felix Dennis, Joe Dispenza, Wesley Virgin, Tony Robbins on my way to the gym. And of course, I'm speeding. Does that make sense? I'm going to pause right there. Now, how many of you were able just to kind of see that? You see how I implemented the smell, the taste? Uh, what did I see? The visual? Uh, what did I hear? Because when you implement the five senses, it makes it real. We interpret our world and we interpret our reality based off are using our five senses. Does that make sense? That's how we interpret the world. Like, what do we see? What do we touch? What can we hear? What can we taste? We use our five senses to d determine what reality is for us. But just on a daily basis, like right now, you could be laying in your bed. It feels good, right? You feel comfortable. Right now, you could be sitting in your seat. Right now, you could be holding your iPhone or holding your Galaxy phone. I don't know. Could be listening to my voice here. So you listening, you're looking at a black screen, right? You're in your room, you're looking around at your walls. This is how we interpret our reality is through our five senses. But what we're doing when we're visualizing, we're interpreting the reality mentally in the spiritual world, okay? Because our, our eyes are closed and we are creating images and experiences and scenarios, but we're binding the five senses to make it real. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Comment below. Does that make sense to you? Okay. This is what makes the visualization process more powerful. When you use the five senses to create these scenarios, and the scenarios are the scenarios of what you want. Does that make sense? Are you with me here? Okay. That's it. And the, the last step is you must repeat the process daily. Sometimes several times a day. You know, 10 years ago, I would meditate three times a day, sometimes four for hours. And for the people to say, well, I want it to happen faster. Well, Go through the process that I just shared with you faster, more. The more you do it, 
the faster you will receive and attract things in your life. Now, this is proven. This is science. It's just like, this, this is not me. I'm not the only person talking about visualization. Even Drake talks about it in one of his songs. He said, the power of the mind is no joke. I mean, it's not. You can visualize and picture everything that's taking place or that you want to take place in your life. And the more you visualize, I give you an example. Like when I'm done with this rant, I'm going to meditate again. Then I'm going to meditate again. My goal is to meditate five to ten times today. Five to ten times. 20 minutes each. So imagine doing that every weekend, every day. Meditate, meditate, meditate. When I'm meditating, all I'm doing is visualizing young people. Like I'm, I'm picturing the scenarios that I want to be very concrete in the inner world. Because was was whatever happens in the inner world will be a projection to your outer world. Okay, that's it. That's just how it works. You can manifest. You can visualize anything. You want to talk to somebody. Say if you want a person to hit you up or to reach out to you, right? You can visualize that process. You close your eyes, take a deep breath five times, and you just think about the person. Make a picture of their face. And you can see that person. And when you see them, you tell that person what you want them to say to you. It can maybe call me. Call me right now. Call me right now. Call me right now. You can. It works. I know this sounds crazy, right? Because in America, on the western side of the world, you know, we're just um, oblivious to this type of power. India, Indonesia, like places around the world, this is normal for them. I've been there. I've been in the trenches in India, places that you'll never go. And this is normal for these people to use their mind. Like I've been to medicine-less hospitals in China. It will blow your mind. They don't use medicine. They just use their mind. It'll blow your mind. I've seen it happen. It's crazy. They wouldn't allow me to video. That's why I couldn't show you. But don't think that this stuff is not real. If you don't believe me, travel the world. Leave. Why do you think Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg goes to India? Do your research. There's a power that exists in all of us. But it's just not popular over here. It's just that this power... Then I'll talk about this because I feel that Americans are even the people that are in power in America. They don't want you to believe that you have this type of power in your mind. They don't want you to believe that you can visualize your success. They don't want you to believe that you can use your imagination, be able to draw and bring things and experiences in your life. No, I want you to struggle, work hard for it, die for it. Right. Mm -mm. Any questions for me before I let you go here? Any questions, and listen, if you want to listen to this podcast again, just go to Google.com and search Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin Podcast. This information is on my Spotify, okay? Apple Music, iHeart Music, Amazon Music. Listen to this information. I talk about the esoteric things of manifesting your goals and dreams. I talk about life things as well and business as well. But I get very excited talking about this stuff. Because this is the stuff. What I'm talking about here, in my opinion, is more important than working your butt off. Okay? I believe that you should learn how to develop the faculties of your mind. And you'll just find yourself in flow. You'll find yourself just getting what you want with ease while everybody else is working hard. You know? Busting their butts. And you just... See yourself always just finding a solution, always attracting the right opportunity, attracting the right man, attracting the right woman every single time. And everything just appears that everything is working out for you 99% of the time. And this happens with a ton of people on the planet. You just don't know them. But you know one today. That's me. The things in my life happens. 90, the things that how I want my life to be. And how I want my life to happen, 99% of the time, it happens exactly how I said it would. Okay? If you ever want to go deeper to learn more of this, I just suggest to grab my course, The Genie Script. Get it. It's very esoteric. It's very, it's information that is not so 
popular on the internet and you have to go down rabbit holes to find this information, then it's not so available. You have to really be searching for it. But what I've done, I put everything in a course. I've been spent 10 years of really understanding this stuff and mastering this information. I put it in a course that anybody can use right now to begin to use the powers of their mind to do what they want to do with their life. You will have total dominion and power over your world, okay, over the inner world. Get the program if you want it. It's called the Genie Script. Search it in Google. Download it and access it now. Any questions for me before I let you go here? Hey, listen, I love all of you. I do. I love you. And I want you to continue to listen to this over and over again because repetition is the mother of skill. Okay? Should we start small to be realistic? I don't believe in being realistic, but I'll say this. Whatever you can conceive in your mind, you start there. Don't start at a million bucks if you never made $10,000 a month, okay? Start at $10,000 a month first. You have to be able to conceive it. Remember, whatever conceive means, whatever you can picture in your mind. If you have a very difficult time picturing it, picture something different, okay? You got to picture the thing that you know you can picture, and sometimes, listen, you know, some of you trying to pitch a $75 million house and you're only paying $2,000 a month for your rent. So I'm like, that's a huge disconnection. You're not going to be able to jump from $2,000 a month to $75 million, uh, you know, paying, purchasing a house. Does that make sense? You got to be able to conceive it. Take steps. And the steps that you're taking would eventually take you off your job. Because it don't take much for you to leave your job. People don't make $10,000 a month. People barely make $5,000 a month. Average. Okay? Absolutely here. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Hey, I love you so much. Thank you for the likes and shares as well. Thank you for all your kindness. Thanks for all your love. I'll see you soon. This is Wesley. Billion dollar virtual. Remember, high energy. High income, high energy, high income, high energy, high income. Let's go.